Welcome to Aries Review and in today's video we'll be talking about the Obravo Cupid a full review having used it for almost more than one week. For those who are interested in seeing what the unboxing is like please look at the link below. It was purchased uh, a week ago and uh, this is a um, Taiwanese company. The company is called Obravo and the product for this one is called Cupid uh, which is their cheapest uh, IEM that they offer because if you look at the other products that they offer they are vastly triple or four times the cost so yes this is roughly the cheapest that they have ever offered this any monitor and inside this cupid there is a uh, two drivers which includes an eight millimeter planar magnetic driver and a six millimeter neodymium dynamic driver the product of this item is made of brass at the moment I've kept it in this box as to protect it roughly this is what it looks like very nice shiny the material is made of brass uh, the cable that is using right now is um, OB MMCX which is slightly to the different to the MMCX cable that you would find on the Shure IEMs so they are not compatible just to let you know and the cable that it comes with is not this one I think this is from the previous or generation cable uh, the cable that is supposed to come with is should be um, a 2.5 millimeter but as you can see with this one I have a 3.5 millimeter cable that provided for now due to the fact that they didn't have enough stock of the old, uh, of the cable that is supposed to come with that cable that it should come with should be specifically made to complement this cupid um, inside as I mentioned we have a protective bag which is to slot in your any monitor which I do recommend using as uh, due to the fact that the material is made of brass right now it does get it, it does scratch slightly easily when I say scratch it's just like small scuff marks not big major scratches uh, think about like the iPhone X where the silver size are you know those tiny little marks that you see which is normal um, in regards to the size of this any monitor I would say it's comparable to the Shure 535 and 846 or the Weststone uh, 40, 50s and 60s and so forth uh, inside we also have some comply phone tips which I'm not using right now and also some silicon tips which is what is provided and uh, I'm currently using the medium sized one which is what I fit you probably should test it first to see what your preference is and lastly I should have also gotten a 3.5 uh, millimeter connector and a 4.4 millimeter connector but due to lack of stock I will get that uh, in a couple of weeks time and just to clarify this product that I purchased was purchased from my own money and so not sponsored in any way so this is roughly my own personal review um, I'm gonna take off the connector and show you what it's roughly like this is roughly what the connector is like put that one down it does look like an um, MMCX connector but it, as I mentioned it is OB version uh, what does the MMCX connector look like if I were to take this from my shore cable that I used to own this is actually from my 846 again let me show you get focus there we go so yep it's just slightly different so yeah you are not able to use those these cables with this any monitor um, now I do know that some of you have already purchased it uh, I'll start off straight away I have no um, I definitely recommend this product having um, gotten a, f well, a friend recommended this to me and he gave high praise for this item having then went to the shop and tested it I also purchased it in a quickly uh, roughly Hong Kong price is 2800 if you purchased it in the US it's about $330 which is 
a reasonable price. Uh, the connector, if for those who have not tried one before, you are connecting it in like this and when you rotate it there is like a place where it locks and then you actually after that you just push it in. So yeah, so make sure that you have the right placement before you actually put it into the any monitor. Uh, very small, I do recommend it. I have been using this for the whole week. I have not been using my other any monitors that I've owned. Uh, the base is fantastic. That is what I like the most. Uh, in comparison to my Zeus that I have, definitely the base is provided here. But obviously if I go back to my A18, yeah, the base will be present on both due to the fact it's got 18 drivers. Uh, before I start this video, I do want to point out some things because I know that some of you have already went out and purchased it. This is actually my second Cupid. Even my friend as well, he went for his second Cupid and the reason is my second Cupid because the first one I had problems with. So for those who are purchasing this based on reviews and feedback, I would suggest that you should test thoroughly uh, if this is functioning 100%. What the problem was when I found I tested mine and also my friend's one was that the left side was not the same as the right side. Um, so when I went to Let's Go Audio to try out the, the Eni monitor, I thought hmm, something was strange. The left side felt a bit imbalanced. It seemed like the right side was a bit stronger in, in regards to vocal while the left side was slightly different. I wasn't too sure if it's my listening or me not getting used to this sound signature. But anyway, I went back home with the first box, tried it. Uh, again, my ears felt a bit strange on the left side. So my friend then told me that, oh, I went back to the shop to actually exchange for another one because he thought that it was in balance. And that then triggered my thoughts. Oh, actually, I also felt that the left side felt a bit strange. So for those who do have an AK player or the SP-1000, you are able to test this thoroughly um, by doing this, which is what I'm gonna show you to see if your one does have an imbalance to the left side. The shops one, as I mentioned, does also have an imbalance. Um, so what you do is play some music. Um, the drive, the IEM here right now, does require a bit of power to drive. If I'm using an SP-1000, I'm probably using about the volume of 80. And if I'm using an SP-1000 with the amp, right now here, I will probably be using at maybe 82 power with the amp volume. Uh, just remember, I am using it with the 3.5 millimeter cable right now. For those who purchased it online, you'll probably be getting the stock cable, which is the 2.5 millimeter. And so the power will be a little bit less required because the 2.5 millimeter from the AK uh, does have a higher power coming from it. So what you do to, in order to test if your one is faulty or not, well, first of all, it does require you to have the experience of what is the sound signature light from left and right, uh, obviously no problems of your ears of hearing imbalance. Uh, so with the AK player, you plug it in, um, you go to the AK icon, you go to settings, and then after that, you go to here, the LR balance, and then when I tested it, it was something like this. 57, 58, 59. This is so that the left side is a little bit stronger and then the right side was a bit down. That then made the balance a bit similar. Uh, I'm happy to say with this current one that I have just got as a replacement, the shop was very nice by the way. They gave me a brand new one straight away when I told them about this imbalance. Uh, same with my friend, so well done, let's go. Um, so, and then after that, listen to a very long time, adjust it to see if there's any imbalance with the left and the right side, as I mentioned, it, for me, my friend, and I think the one in the shop that I tried, there was something wrong on the left side. So if you adjust it to maybe 58, does that seem more reasonable to both sides? That is what I suggest, first of all, testing. Hopefully, for those who've ordered online, I hope you don't have any issues at all, because I know it would be a hassle for you to send it back in and get a replacement. 
and that's how you roughly test the imbalance on the IEM. Um, with the phone, if you are using a phone to drive your Cupid, then with the phone I'm using the S9 Plus right now. If I plug it in, it's 35 millimeter. And if I were to play some music such as Blackpink, uh, the volume required would be about here, just when it gets starts to get red. Oops. Just when it's so the volume that you need it would be here, just when it starts to get red and blue, the middle, right in the middle, that is the volume enough to drive this any monitor. Uh, Pumpy bass is definitely what it provides. Would I recommend these? Uh, for me, I would definitely say I do recommend it fully, but obviously, if you are able to first of all test it, I do recommend that you test it first. Um, having owned an 8 Sure 846 like three weeks ago, as I actually did purchase an 846. Um, going back to what I first started, when I first first started with this audio journey, my first IEM was the 535 in red, and then upgraded to the 846. 846 was fantastic for that time. I've purchased the 846 several times, so three weeks ago I actually purchased another 846, second hand of course, for about $2,000. Uh, but having now gone through this journey for a couple of years, I felt that the A46 didn't do justice. That means the sound that I was providing was lacking, the bass was lacking, I even tried the fil changing the filters. So after buying it and then using it for one day, I then quickly sold it back out. And then, then my friend recommended this to me, the Cupid. Uh, if I were to compare those two, um, definitely a big upgrade the bass there is much much more slam in there the sound stage is much wider uh, i know there's only two drivers but the two driver is doing justice here there is using the eight millimeter and the six millimeter driver that it provides and that is giving enough for uh, what i'm feeling right now um, especially if you crank it up a little bit you will hear the thumping of the the bass uh, the vocals are quite uh, clear um, obviously if I were to compare this with the a 18 that I have which I will not bring right now uh, obviously you won't hear all the instruments separately of course due to the fact that the a 18 does have 18 drivers and so that you're feeling all the 18 drivers coming into you here we have two and I think two is quite good uh, definitely I would say double the wow factor of the 846 in my feeling well, to what uh, to what I feel right now when I actually listen to this IEM uh, another thing to talk about is that this is really very small small same as like the 846 one thing that is good that it doesn't stick out when I put it into my ear and I sometimes like to put my headphones and lie on the bed and roughly putting it in my ear and lie on the bed does not hurt at all and because it's actually right in your ear uh, but obviously if I were to go with my Zeus, then that will obviously protrude out. And uh, the cable, how's the cable? The cable is soft. Uh, sadly with this one, I'm not able to wrap it around my ear. Um, so it will be dangling a little bit. So you can see that it might fall down eventually when it drags a bit like that. So that is what I mean whenever it dangles around your ear. But obviously if I were to use my 846 cable, which I have kept for one of the, well, one of the times where I purchased the 846, you can see that you're able to bend it so I can wrap it around my ear and dangle. Because sometimes I have one um, any monitor inside my ear and the other one is dangling around my uh, ear. Um, for me, this is one that I would definitely recommend trying. Um, price is, I think, reasonable. With the 846, it's like 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. Uh, with this one, it's 2,800 Hong Kong dollars. It is double the performance. This is actually providing double the performance at half the cost of the 846, I feel anyway. 
Uh, accessory wise, yes, I am missing a case and hence that's the reason why I have another case here from my A46 which I kept. Uh, yes, you do probably need to buy an extra case as to protect it. Um, as I mentioned, there are a little scarves which is normal. I am using it for the whole week now. It is very comfortable. The music is fantastic. Um, the ear tips that I've given, uh, they've provided are, I think, good enough for me. Uh, the only reason that I tried to change it last time was for the fact that I thought something was a bit funny with the left ear. So please, please, please do try and test to see if your one has this imbalance imperfection, then obviously do send it back to whoever you purchased it from. Uh, for me, I tried it for two days and exchanged it quickly straight away when I thought it was either me or the IEMs and I think it was IEM. So this one, no problems at all. Uh, very shiny, very compact. Uh, I lo I'm loving it this right now. Uh, definitely one that I will be keeping for good. And that is roughly what I want to say about the Cupid IEM. For me, a definite recommendation. I do have some headphones coming next week, which I again I purchased myself. Uh, it'll be my first, well, actually my second open back. Uh, I should probably know. Most of you know that I'm prefer any monitors more. I still do have one uh, IEM. I am still not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. It's not opened. Still boxed purchased it two weeks ago I've been spending too much time on this Cupid as to do or uh, unboxing however I do have some plans maybe I'll see what you guys think for those who watch this video maybe doing a giveaway this is the red one it's Billie Jean it's got two B uh, it's two, got two drivers this is made from Jerry Harvey's the moments I've got my channel is open for, for a couple months now I have some people subscribing fantastic uh, maybe set this as a target like if I hit 1,000 subscribers for those who people who subscribe which is the 1,000 people I would maybe or I'm thinking of giving a, doing a giveaway which means whoever I choose from a software point of view that means randomly selected I will send this to that lucky winner um, Alternatively, I am also tempted to do an unboxing of this and then send it away to the lucky winner who, when I hit the 1000 mark. What do you guys think? Should I just open it, unbox it, and uh, once it hits 1000, this will be the prize that I gave out? Or just leave it unopened and then wait for 1000 subscribers and then see who wins it and then send it back out? Uh, at the moment, as I said, extremely happy with this, so hence the reason why I might not want to open this box, but it will be good to do an unboxing and sh compare what these two are like. So what do you think? Should I compare it, open it, compare it, and then still give out this as a 1000 lucky draw prize for, the, for those of you who subscribe to this channel? Or should I just save this until we reach 1,000 subscribers. Uh, now, obviously it would help if you recommend me to your friends to subscribe to this channel. As I said, I'm doing this for a hobby. Hopefully I'm helping you guys to see what uh, I appreciate, which is any monitors. I do do some travel videos. I do like eating, but mainly since I started off with any monitors, I thought the first prize that I should probably give is any monitors. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Do hit subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.